thing I would like to tell you regarding the probes. If I talk about the probe, first and foremost thing is cleaning of the probe. I believe what the companies they say that you should be cleaning the probe only with the sterile normal saline. But we do it even with the chlorhexidin in the swabs, in the pads, gauze pieces. You can take chlorhexidin, clean. You have to be very clear with the foot of the probe because that is the most sensitive part of your probe. So you should be very careful because it is the costliest and the most sensitive part. Clean the probe, not only just in the upper this end. It has to be cleaned the whole this wire till it goes and joins to the machine. You have to clean till that point. Okay, that has to be clean before every study, not only once in a day. Before every study, because you will be changing your machine, taking the machine from baby to baby. So you have to be make it clean before doing an echo for any baby. Okay. Then few things regarding the probe. This is the probe which I'm using, showing is a face array probe. So face array probe is one, what we also call a sectoral probe that I explained you in last time in the session one. So one, the footprint is very small and these ultrasonic waves which are produced by the probe are by the piezo crystals. So in this face array probe or sectoral probe, the piezo crystal is one crystal of very high quality. Hence the ultrasonic waves they are produced and they fan out from this probe. Okay, so this is your foot of the probe and this is your probe lens, this red rubbery probe lens. Here what you see on this is your probe marker that I explained that move that I always talk about that probe marker is at 12 o'clock, probe marker is at one o'clock, probe marker is at 11 o'clock. So this is your probe marker. Every machine on every probe have their own style. Either they give just dot, either they put a light, LED, or in this, in this machine, they have put it, this big cross bar. So this is your probe marker, okay? And this is your, basically, this is your probe and this is your probe tail. So when I talk about tilting or sweep up, so that sweeping movement of the probe is always with respect to the foot of the probe. If I say sweep up, it means the foot of the probe sweeps up. If I say sweep down, it means the foot of the probe sweeps down. It is not the tail. It is always with respect to the foot of the probe. Okay, why sweeping is, sweeping or tilting is, see this is how your ultrasonic waves are coming out of your probe. So when the probe moves like this, the ultrasonic waves, they move like this. When ultrasonic waves and probe, they move in the same plane, it is known as sweeping or tilting. So that is your sweeping or tilting movement. This is your rotation. This is like this, when it is at right angle to the plane of the ultrasonic waves, it is angulation. This is angulation. This is sweeping and tilting. This is rotation. Just keep these three movements in mind. So this is your phase array probe. The other thing you must have noticed is it is written as 12 to four. That means it is a harmonic probe. That means it has got a range of frequency. So the range of frequency for this probe is four to 12 Hertz. So it can be used to do an echo from infant still preterm babies. As there was a question in the group also, if a preterm baby one kg, my preference of frequency will be 10 to 12 Hertz. If this is a term baby, my frequency is eight to 10 Hertz. If it is a bit, bit bigger, five kg baby, my frequency uh, uh, selection will be five Hertz. Why? Higher is the frequency, higher is the lesser resolution, but lesser is the penetration. So bigger is the baby, what I need, I need a good penetration because the heart structure size will be big. So I may, I may not need a very uh, big resolution for that, but I need a good penetration. So that's why in adult, we do an echo with the probe with the hertz of one to two hertz. 
so uh, because we need more penetration so okay so it gives me the range of 4 to 12 hertz and the footprint is very small so that can be very useful for smaller windows on the preterm baby so this is one type of probe but the good thing about this probe is with this single probe i can do echo abdominal ultrasounds head ultrasound everything for head and ultrasound curvilinear probes are the best but it does not now make much difference especially in the newborn babies so we can do abdominal ultrasound and head ultrasound with the same probe the only thing which becomes bit difficult to do with this probe is when you do vascular access see vascular tips or put ultrasound guided central lines doing lung ultrasounds or doing abdominal echo for nec neck for that we need a probe with much higher frequency and resolution and we need linear array probe so this is phase array probe or sectoral probe what we need is linear array probe so we do have those probes so this is a hockistic probe this is basically a linear array probe for newborns why the foot size the foot size of the probe is very small okay and is the linear linear but this is linear array so it has got a higher frequency the frequency of this probe is 15 to 20 hertz so we can do lung ultrasounds all superficial things vascular access uh, putting in the vascular lines nerve blocks all those things superficial things subcutaneous things Uh, if there is abscess subcutaneous abscess all those things we can detect and do very well with this and with and uh, we can use it for even nec's okay and for superficial like uh, subcortical things i want to see the white matter then instead of phase array a head ultrasound i would like to do with this it becomes more clear okay so these are regarding few things regarding 